when the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster. And they continued to crash. And crash. And crash. And of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Tally-ho, Colonel Banzai here. And Pepper Pelican here. We have terrifically sad news. This will be our last visit with you for a while. The good news is the Banzai Family Rescue Patrol is ready to launch on our first exciting mission. We, we are? Uh, already? Yup. We're at the runway now, loading our gear onto the planes. First stop, Uganda. A wonderful country in Central Africa. We're going to rescue some sick children by flying in some doctors and medicine. And while I'm there, I think I'll practice my kung fu skills on a rhinoceros. Oh, um, I don't know if it's such a great idea. Why not? You don't think I can handle it? I'm not afraid of any old rhino. I am the kung fu master. hi -ya! I am so tough, I make Chuck Norris look like Winnie the Pooh. No, I, I meant I don't think it's a good idea for me to go to Uganda. What? Why not? Are you having doubts again? Well, um, it's just I, I would miss the island and, and the kids might need me. And, and I'm not sure that God really wants me to go. Uh, so I'm just going to stay here until God shows me a miracle. A miracle! That's right, a miracle. Are you kidding me? That's all God's been doing for the last five months. Haven't you noticed all of the miracles he has shown us? Jesus changed water to wine. He filled the nets. He calmed the storm. He healed Jairus' daughter. He fed 5,000 people. He healed the centurion's servant, the paralyzed friend, the sick woman, the deaf and mute man, the ten leopards. He banished demons, saved the official son, walked on water, gave sight to a blind man, raised Lazarus from the dead, died on the cross, was raised from the dead, appeared to his disciples, and helped Thomas to believe, went up to the throne in heaven, and he better catch me now, because I'm about to pass out from saying all this in one breath. <laughs> Those are all important miracles, but unless the Lord talks to me personally, I'm not going. You have lost your mind. I'm going to have your Popsy give you a FaceTime call and help you find it. Oh, Popsy! Go ahead. Uh, call Popsy. See if I care. While you're at it, why don't you tell Momsy and Chauncey and 800 pound gorilla? Once a bonsai makes up his mind, there's no thing to change it. So there. Oh, I do hope Pepper doesn't call Popsy and Chauncey. Uh, I don't want to get into another argument. Oh, no. Oh, he's coming. Uh, Popsy! I, I, I know why you're here. It's because Pepper spills on me. Well, I don't want to go, and you can't make me. I've made up my mind, you know, and once a bonsai makes up his mind, there's nothing to change it. You can say that again. Once a bonsai makes up his mind, there's nothing to change it. Well, I am here to help you change your well, mind. You can talk all you want, but I'm not going to budge. Come on, Alger, don't make me come back there and make you budge. I'll tickle your belly if I have to. Now, are you going to come along peacefully? Are you going to go kick and scream like a little boo-boo kitty? Um, well, I'm going to kick and scream like a little boo-boo kitty. Fine. Stay here and pout if you like. I will. I'm glad you see it my way. <laughs> Monkey tails? Oh, there you are, dear. Oh, Peppa told us you don't want to come with us. Oh, I do wish you'd open your mind a bit, Algy. I believe God wants us to go. <laughs> but, but how do you know? Oh, because I read it in the Bible. <laughs> it is in the Bible, old boy. Well, I read the Bible too. Well, uh, let's read it together and ask God to help us understand. Uh, get out your Bible. Well, I will. Now, uh, open up to the book of Luke. Uh, uh, there, here we are. Uh, there is another time when Jesus appeared to his disciples after his death. Were they frightened? Oh, they were. They thought that he was a ghost. 
so Jesus showed his hands and feet to prove it was really him. Oh, and they believed him? Oh, no, they still didn't believe. So Jesus asked something to eat. They gave him a piece of fish and he ate it. <laughs> Only a man with a body could eat food. So then did they believe him? Oh, yes, oh, they believed it was Jesus. And the Bible says, then he opened their minds and they could understand the scriptures. <laughs> well, I understand the scriptures. Then listen to this. He said the Christ will suffer on the third day and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Oh, I think I understand. So God's forgiveness is to be shared with all the nations. We must spread the word. <laughs> hey, that's right, Algie. <laughs> but how is the world going to hear about the miracle love of Jesus unless we tell them? That's right, Algie! Yeah. Mumsy, Chauncey, uh, uh, I've been waiting for a sign, but God already told us to spread his word to all the nations. Oh, you've got it, Algie! I think God opened your mind to understand the scriptures. Oh, he surely did! It's a miracle! A miracle! <laughs> a miracle! <laughs> a miracle! We've got to tell the whole world that Jesus is incredible. Uh, let's get going! Wait, let's all say our motto one last time. <laughs> It's, it's incredible, incredible but true what the, the God, God of wonders can do. <laughs> Good show. Uh, Tot all friends, have fun and remember to tell the whole world that Jesus came to be our savior. Love and kippers. <laughs> Amen. Tally ho. Tally ho.